Hi, uh, welcome. So in our previous lecture, we basically set up our environments in C and set up the course introduction. Today we will continue from there. Uh, today I will essentially talk about how does the Hello World program that we wrote in the first lecture actually works. So in our previous lecture, we essentially wrote this program which looked something like this, that there was a, uh, there was a hash include SGDIO and then printf hello world and then get card. So let's talk about how does this program actually works. Before I do that, let's understand how does comments in C work. So what is a comment? In, in any programming language, a comment is, is a tool so that I can convey some information to another human being. See, who do we write programs for? We write programs so that I can uh, make computer do what I want it to do. But I also want to make sure that I, when I write a program, some other human being is able to understand how the program works. If I work in a company, then other my colleagues need to understand how the program works. So comments are there so that I can put additional hints or suggestions or comments as to how the program works or explanation as to how the program works. So for example, I can in C when you put a double slash, that's how you can add comments. This is a single line comment. The thing with single line comments is that this line is a comment, but the next line is not a comment. So, so a, what is a comment? A comment is something that is totally ignored by the compiler. So even if I write this program, then I compile this code, the compiler will essentially ignore this line as if it never exists. Up, along with the single line comments, there are also multi line comments, which I can write this is a multi line comment. Anything between slash star to star slash is a comment and is totally ignored by the compiler. So let's continue from there. So the question is how does the program, what does this program do? What are all these lines and has to include main, etc. and how does the program work? The first line is an include line which is telling the compiler that this program relies on the standard input output library and include it. So essentially I'm including the standard input output library. It, it signals the compiler to include the standard input output library because this program will use functions such as printf and getcar which are actually defined inside standard input output library. If you don't include it, the program will not compile it. It will complain that I don't know what printf is. Next, you are defining in C. In C, you when you write a program, you define functions. And those functions have statements. There are also variables inside functions, but this program does not have variables. It only has a function called main, which has two statements: the printf statement and the get car statement. Each function has arguments. There are, can be many functions, but main functions is is special. Every program has to have a main function somewhere. The execution of a program in C begins at main function. When you run compile this and run dot slash a dot out, it will essentially search for main and start there. So the execution of this code will start here. So main is special. There are no main. So how does the definition of function work? There is main, which is the name of the function. Then there is a list of arguments main does not have any argument therefore it is empty if it had two arguments let's say x and y i could have just written this which then main will have two inputs the arguments are one of the ways that you convey input to a function we will talk more about this later the next statement is a printf statement which says printf and within brackets a string hello world what this is doing is that printf itself is a function that is defined inside standard input output library and hello world is an input to the printf function. So I'm calling the printf function with the input hello world. Next statement getcar is also a call to the getcar function without any input. So I'm not providing any input to getcar and printf will essentially print the string hello world on console. Getcar will wait for me to output to press enter. If I don't put a get car, the program will just immediately quit, which will become a problem for the Windows users. Uh, 
Notice the slash n in the end. The slash n is a new line character. So what happens if I don't put slash n? See, let's say I save the file and I compile the code and I run it dot slash a dot out and it will type hello world and just stop there. It will just stop here and when I push enter then it goes to the new line and the code exists. If I had put the new line character and save the file and compile it and run the code then it will print hello world and automatically come to the new line. So after this exclamation there is a new line character which brings the cursor to the new line and I press enter and the code finishes. Printf does not automatically put a new line character by default. The same thing can be achieved by the following function. I can type main printf hello then I can type printf world then I can type the printf new line character and this program is equivalent to the previous main function of course the previous main is under comment so it doesn't exist f was for the compiler this program will have the same output as the previous code hello world oh I forgot the get card which is why the code didn't stop so I put a get card compile it run hello world it stops for me I push enter and it finishes so hopefully it makes sense right so printf does not put new line by itself the slash n denotes special characters uh, new line character these these slash characters are reserved for special characters new line is not the only special character tab is another character slash itself is another character if you have to type slash then you type double slash so so we'll talk more about these later so i hope this makes sense so yeah that's uh, pretty much it so if you want you can in your code then uh, oh one thing to talk about is that these curly braces they define the scope of the function so what this means is that the main function starts here and ends here these two statements are part of the main function and anything outside that I write is not part of the main function this is not part of the main function main function begins at this curly brace and ends here. This is known as the scope of the function. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's I think the explanation. Printf we have already talked about. Yeah, so you can add some more comments uh, defining the main function. Uh, printing the output. You can put my comment waiting for the user and this way if you were to read the com the read the program two months later you will be exactly be able to understand what this program is doing so when you compile this it runs exactly as it was running before uh, yeah so that's the conclusion we wrote we learned about programs comments in C and also we have a better understanding of how the hello world program actually works uh, we yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, in homework problems, please do the following. Please read section 1.1 from the book below. And also in the Hello World program, try to leave out some parts of the program and see whatever you get. For example, if you leave out this semicolon and you try to compile it, it will not compile and give an error. Try to not include the, the standard input code library, then try to compile it and you will see various kinds of errors. So, Try to get yourself familiar with these errors uh, so that later when you run into any issue you will have a better understanding as to what is happening and you will be able to debug your code faster. Thank you.